Hello. You're in the kitchen with a very relaxed chef old today. I just thought I'd kick back and do something simple and slow and easy because my friends on the diabetic side of the world keep asking me, chef old, why don't you ever talk about anything for diabetics? I want to know something I can have, something light, quick, and easy, that's tasty, but also that I can, within my range of my nutritional value. So I thought I'd do some today for my friends, and some, one of them is a salad. I want to do a nice salad, because, you know, a lot of diabetics to get this consumption, I mean, assumption that they cannot have any sweet stuff. Right here I have a little jalapeno jelly that you can find that you don't want to put on toast to them, but you can use it in a nice vinaigrette. So I'm going to make a, what we call a three pepper vinaigrette, or not, just say a pepper vinaigrette. And first of all, you got to start out with olive oil. When you're doing a vinaigrette at home, you have to think about your mixture. I'm going to use olive oil and then a little balsamic vinegar. When you're working with a vinaigrette, you need two to one, two to one oil, two to one two oil to one vinegar. So if you're going to make uh, two tablespoons of oil, you're going to need one tablespoon of vinegar. So what I'm going to start out just a little olive oil here. And a very little vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette. Now sometimes you probably hear about balsamic vinaigrette used as a syrup, in which it is. Balsamic vinaigrette is a syrup. And all I want to do is just make a little oil base here. You can see it's just very little. I'm going to try to put a little bit more of the olive oil in here and get it a little bit more tighter. Okay, a little bit of olive oil there. And now I'm going to use a little of the jalapeno jelly, just a little bit. Just, I just want a little bit in the bottom here. And just whip that around. And just get it incorporated with the balsamic vinegar. Now, if you don't want to whip it yourself, you can just put it in a food processor or, or a mixer yourself. And I have a little parsley. I'm going to just throw in full color and a little something to it. Okay, after I get this whipped up, I have some pears, sliced pears. Now, you can use mango. You can use uh, apples. I, I try to use fruit that with a little sweet flavor in it to use on a salad. It's, it's more helpful for you. You don't have to worry about the high contents of sugar. You're just going to take them and just set them around your salad. And like I say, you can pick out whatever you want. Fresh fruit is the best way to go, guys. I don't care what no one say, fresh fruit. Then if you want to do this with mango juice, you can change this, bought some vinaigrette out of here and do it with a mango vinaigrette. And all I'm going to do is just drizzle this on there just a little. And we chef got to get creative. I'm going to put some right out here on the outside just for the decoration. We got to put some on this edge of the plate, make it look like we're doing some. And there you go. This is a nice meal for a nice summer veggie, a nice summer's meal for a diabetic. You can use it as a veggie meal or you can use this as a salad. It's a nice low sugar, easy to make. And I tell you what, if you get in touch with me on www.chefo.us, I can give you many more of these recipes for your diabetic uh, patient or if you have a mother, father, brother, sister. Just give me a shot. I'll hook you right up. This is Chef O. Thank you. And healthy cooking.